When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right, so you can always get a hold of us at Ben and Kelly Show. Kelly, you got this one? Yeah, so we got a message. Said, my boyfriend babysat my three-year-old son for a few hours while I attended a seminar upstairs. Mm-hmm. I really appreciated it. And it seems like they had fun going out to the park. Mm-hmm. Now, this was the first time they'd spent together time together without me. However, my son is now calling him Daddy. Mm. He'd never really called him anything before. Now, I told my son that he should call him Chris. Chris waved me off and said that he actually told my son to call him that, and I'm furious about it. My son was conceived via a donor, Mm -hmm. and now I feel like I have to have the conversation I was planning on having when he was like five or six a few years early. My boyfriend thinks I'm overreacting as he was doing me a favor. I'm so disappointed. Other than this, he's an awesome guy, and he's been in my son's life since he was 18 months old. I know my poor boy would be devastated if Chris stops coming around. So what should I do? Man, that is something that neither Kelly or myself have any experience with. No, yeah. It, this is, I mean, yikes. Yeah. I, I understand, like, you know, if he's been, it's not like it was mm-hmm. just, they've just been dating a couple of months. You know, he's been a, in yeah. you know, the boy's life for a while. So it kind of would seem natural, but that's definitely a boundary that mom should set. Yeah. And I feel like it should have already happened. Like yeah. after, after two years, I feel like that, that should have already happened, but it obviously hasn't. So this is where we need, I think your expertise, especially if you've gone through this yourself and you can offer up some advice. Well, and she didn't really seem to indicate, like, could this be, does she see a long-term situation with him? Like, could he end up one day being, like, a father figure? Mm -hmm. All right, 502-571-9970 or at Ben and Kelly show. Um, We'll see if we can, you know, try to at least give her some unbiased opinions on how she should roll with this, all right? She has been dating her boyfriend for a couple years. She has a three-year-old son, and now he has started calling him daddy after her boyfriend said, hey, just call me daddy. Yeah, and so, you know, a lot of people are mentioning that that's overstepping a boundary. Like, you Mm -hmm. as mama need to set these boundaries. And even though, you know, she, she had... Um, her kids from a donor. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't mean that, you know, she's ready for him to take that extra step and she needs to sign off on it. She had told him to just, you know, call him Chris, right. her boyfriend, Chris. And a lot of people are pointing out, like, listen, he obviously loves the kids and it's really, really sweet. Yeah. But there are, are a lot of other people saying, like, this is a boundary that only you set. That is true. Um, And this is something that, you know, admittedly, Kelly and I have never had experience with. So we don't really know how to I mean, we can't really say from our own experience. All right. This is what you should do. Or this is what worked for me. This is what did not work for me. April on Facebook said, lady, my daughter called my then boyfriend daddy at two. I tried everything to correct her as she had a dad. But uh, we got married. We were married 11 years and divorced. And although she has a relationship with her real dad, he is still her daddy. He still plays the part. Those kind of guys are hard to find. Talk to him and ask him, are you willing to be a dad regardless of our relationship down the road? If that's what you want, then if not, don't let random guys in and out of his life. Man, that's a that's a tall ask, though. Like it is, especially if you're not married and you're like, hey, so you're calling yourself you're wanting him to call you daddy. Are you so gonna, regardless of what happens to us, right. like, that's going to be your role forever. And Marvin said the same thing. Dad does not mean father. And if y'all split up, it doesn't mean he can't still be a part of his that's life true. in a dad role. When your son's older, you can talk to him about it. Until then, talk to the boyfriend and make sure he understands the role of that word and that he knows it's not a temporary position, even if you guys go different ways. Now, Gretchen, you have had experience with this and kids. Yeah, and it's really, she can't control any of it. The kid has to... Now, was he leaving? Is the guy leaving? No. I mean, she's still dating him. Okay. So, I mean, there's just nothing... She has no control whether she was married to him, whether it was his father, anything. That guy has to show himself who he is to that kid without her intervention. 
and then pick up the pieces if it doesn't work and be happy if it does work. Uh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 I was going to say, I, th- I think I understand what you're saying. We can't make somebody be a great dad. Right. So she has to just allow that guy to show himself to either be a great guy or a not so great guy. Okay. But the word daddy, I think, is what she was having an issue with. Oh, calling him daddy? Yeah. They're just words to a kid that age. Okay. All right. So don't read too much into that. No, no. Okay. Thank you, Gretchen. I feel like a lot of people in the peanut gallery are going to disagree with that because that's a pretty <laughs> powerful word yeah. for a lot of people. And and I, and mom had already said, "Listen, I you know just call him Chris." Mm-hmm. And she and again, we don't really know is she seeing a future with him or not because yeah. if she is, then this you know might end up being the case anyway, like down the road, and maybe she she just feels like it's premature. But if she's not completely sure about where the future of the relationship is going maybe that's where the hesitancy comes in either way mm-hmm. it sounds like she's got a guy who loves her kids so that's a plus that is a but plus. she's just kind of saying listen you need to let me set those boundaries for when you know on the timeline that i'm comfortable with for for my kids and he's got to respect that well it's probably about time you do that now <laughs> yeah, probably should have happened before she got herself in the situation because now it's kind of going to be difficult to go back to a three-year-old and say, yeah, don't call him daddy. Or call him. Because then that's going to be confusing. Or call him daddy Chris or call it like, I don't, I don't know. Um, again, I, I don't have experience with that, so I'm not exactly uh, 100% on, on what will and won't, won't work. But yeah, Don says on Facebook, you have a tricky situation. I think you need to look at his good intent. He's been in your son's life for a significant amount of time, so mm-hmm. you can see he clearly loves your son. Yeah. He overstepped, and that's a conversation, but not one to have an anger. Right. You don't have to have those who you know, who's your father conversations yet because of this. You can very simply say, it's better to call him Chris and leave it at that. The less you make of it, the less he will. Be kind to Chris. Mm. He clearly is a solid guy with a good heart. Yeah. That seems to be of greater value than the well-intentioned misstep. All right. So I, I think we're just saying, hey, let's have a conversation with him. Maybe just uh, go a little easy on Chris. Right. Reiterate that, yeah, you know, I kind of I need to set the tone and the pace for this. Mm-hmm. I appreciate, you know, how you treat him and how you treat us and love us all. But let's, you know, let's get there in due time. All right. Uh, well, follow up with us. We'd love to to get the follow up um, from you. And yeah, good luck and with that. And uh, let us know.